This video is taken to explain how a glide path can easily be achieved for a root canal treatment. What we have here is an upper molar with three roots. Axis has been prepared. And as simple as it may be, we have three files, just your normal hand files. Okay, so the idea is to have an axis prepared. Coronal flaring has been given for easily straight path access and later on we have to enter the canals using a size 10 reamer or a file preferably a reamer because of its flexibility so it can almost like go easily slide past all those nicks and curves and inside those uh, canals right so what we have here is this tooth where I would be inserting this hand file into the palatal canal so what I watch my motion is like this is a watch winding motion where I gently pass through, through and see I've felt a resistance and now I understood that this has been out of the apex which would be confirmed in a patient using an electronic apex locator and now a patency first has to be achieved. Likewise, I would enter the mesial canal like as such. Patency is clear and a distal canal that too again is achieved easily. Okay, but I feel a resistance at this area because you see there is a small curvature here, like there. So we have the pre curve of file. Now, achieving a glide path, the glide path means this is a way in which you can insert a file inside a canal and it has to go in easily in and out in a reproducible manner. Not just once, not just twice, in a reproducible manner. It's in such a way that me or you or anyone else doing this same tooth has to get this pathway. Okay, so what I have here is a reciprocating handpiece where it mimics the action, the exact action where I showed this, a watch winding motion. See this? This motion is mimicked using this handpiece. Have a, it has a push button, I press it up and it opens up and closes, opens up and closes. I take my 10 file, place it in and that is achieved. It doesn't have an extra control unit, only thing you need to have is a simple micro motor where you can attach to this. It's as simple as that. You see this? And now, taking this at 3000 RPM, which means normally in a minute, and let's assume that you do a filing watch winding motion for, well, let's say, 60 times a minute. This one does at 3000 times a minute. The best advantage is here, the best advantage here is that this file system cannot separate or fracture as it does not bind to any of those walls in those tight, narrow, curved canals and added the flexibility of, let's say, let's say you're using a K-Flex file by Cybron Endo. It's perfect. So, you see the action over here. I will show you. You have to watch this aspect. It goes left and right, left and right, left and right, as such. So it, it mimics the action of the hand. Now I have a minimally prepared, access prepared tooth and quite, you can see these are quite calves in here as well. So I managed to achieve patency using the hand and now never work in a tricanal.
So I just irrigate it first. So the working length was established to be 19 millimeter. Now I have this tooth I would be entering in the palatal aspect. So I activate it. And you get this floating sensation in the scanner where I have no obstruction because it simply cannot bind to any of those walls. And what I have to do here is the I have to go in a very circumferential filing action. Don't have to push it through all the way and work up to the working length. And while pulling it out, it's a cutting. It's like paint brush shrocking motion. A circumferential filing, which means all the, 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 the circumference of the palatal aspect especially towards the coronal area has to be done like that and see if I go in a bit further you can see that the FX has been reached and there we have the file coming outside this is, means that we have achieved the patency there is no blockage in the canal and it works now I fill this chamber with a chelating agent a viscous chelating agent like RC prep Fill the chamber. We have the working length estimated at 19 mm. So what I have here is I will take it up to 19 using an end block from Dense Play Mayfair. Take it in, press, insert, and that's it. Now with the scalator, I will be entering the palatal aspect again. Activate it. Easily goes in. Easily goes in without any obstruction. Work up to the working length and see it has already come out. If I pr push it a bit more inside, you see? A circumferential filing action. Life of irrigate. Irrigate. Profuse irrigation. Recapitulate using a set ten size file prevent any epical clogging by debris and see it's patent. Take now take a size 20 file that would be the maximum we'd be preparing. And 19 press it take it in Duplicate. And again, insert. Easy as that. Easy as that. Just like a painter was painting strokes, cutting while pulling and not while pushing in, cutting is while you are pulling this file out. And irrigate. You should understand that this size 20 is literally going in without any resistance. See, once I push past it, it goes beyond the apex. If 
but it's worked its way perfectly through. Perfectly through.